Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy for Shave Nation Shaving Supplies, ShaveNation.com. It's thin, it's flexible, and it's sharp on two sides. It's approximately 43 millimeters long, 22 millimeters wide, and 0.11 millimeters thick. The double edge blade, also known as a DE blade, a safety razor blade, or just plain old razor blade. The safety razor and double edge blades were developed at the turn of the 20th century and patented in the year 1904. Up until that point in time, the razor of choice was a folding straight razor, like this one. Safety razors gained popularity during the First World War, when 3.5 million safety razors, along with 32 million safety razor blades, were issued to members of the U.S. military in kits similar to this one. Upon returning home, the soldiers were allowed to keep their military shave kits. As a result, they easily retained their newfound shaving habit. This action turned the tide from straight razor shaving to shaving with a safety razor. Until the 1960s, safety razor blades were made from carbon steel. These blades had a tendency to rust quickly, unless they were dried carefully after each use. In 1965, a British company called Wilkinson Sword began selling blades made of stainless steel, which did not rust easily. This enabled ladies and gents to shave with the blades until they became dull. Now in the 21st century, many people are disgusted with the high cost of multi-blade cartridges. As a result, safety razors loaded with double-edged blades are undergoing a huge resurgence in popularity. Most DE blades are currently manufactured from stainless steel and have coatings such as platinum, Teflon, or titanium to make them smooth shaving and even more rust resistant. Certain double-edged blades are even specified for use in hospitals for shaving patients prior to undergoing surgery. Blades are usually sold in packages of 5 or packages of 10. Some companies offer special promotional packaging with one or two blades included for free inside of the package. Blades are also available in bulk 100 packs, or sleeves as they are often called. Each sleeve contains 100 blades. Blades are often individually wrapped for safety and to lock out moisture. Just remove the wrapper from the blade, insert it into your razor, tighten the handle on your razor, and you're ready to rock and roll with your shave. One of the added benefits of double-edged razor shaving, aside from the smooth shave you get, is that the cost of these blades is very affordable. At well under a dollar a piece, they cost far less than multi-blade replacement cartridges. Less pulling and tugging on your face. Less pulling and tugging on your wallet. All standard double-edged blades are compatible with all safety razors sold at Shave Nation. They will also fit into just about any safety razor currently manufactured. These double-edged blades will also fit into just about any vintage safety razor, including older model safety razors no longer manufactured by companies such as Schick and Gillette. Newcomers to safety razor shaving should consider a blade sampler pack. This allows you to test drive or shave with different types of blades, so you can see which blades suit you best. A blade that provides a great shave for one person may not perform as well for another. A blade can actually be too sharp, so start with a milder blade and work your way up to the sharper ones until you achieve your optimum shave. It doesn't happen very often, but it is possible to get a blade which is defective and slip past quality control this blade may provide an undesirable result. Revisit that brand at a later date and see if the shave provided is more favorable. Once you find a favorite double-edged blade, you may choose to shave with that brand exclusively. How many shaves can you get from one blade? The rule of thumb is three to six shaves. So for people who shave every day, it usually adds up to about a week's worth of shaving from just one blade. With one of the sharpest brands of blades, the Feather brand, you could even go beyond these numbers. If you've ever wondered what's the difference between the feather black package and the feather yellow package, 
Well, the blades are the same. The black has five blades inside, and the yellow package has ten blades inside. At the end of this presentation, there will be a list of some of the most popular blades in order from mild to sharp, and also a list of razor blade manufacturers, along with the countries where they are made. Some factors that affect blade life would be the brand of blade, how often you shave, how coarse your beard is, and your face prep prior to shaving. How will you know when it's time to replace your blade? When you're shaving and the blade no longer glides along easily, and you feel it grabbing or skipping instead of slicing cleanly through your beard, it's time to swap it out for a new one. DE blades are so reasonably priced that some people will use a new one every time they shave. Others feel that the second or third shave from the same blade provides the best shave for them. The acronym to remember when it comes to blade life is YMMV. Your mileage may vary. Most manufacturers warn against wiping down the blade, as it is no longer necessary and generally not a good idea. After shaving, you can just give your razor and blade a good rinse and let it dry in free air. It's okay to leave the blade in your razor in between shaves, although some gents choose to remove it. It's just a matter of personal preference. If you happen to be a bit germaphobic, you can remove the blade, rinse it, and store it in a safe place in free air to dry. If you want to take it a step further, dry it with a blow dryer. I keep a plastic magnet fastened to the side of my medicine cabinet. The blade will be ready for me when it's time to shave again. This way, whichever safety razor you choose from your rotation, you can just pop the blade in and get your shave on. You can also tape or glue the magnet just about anywhere and it will still hold your blade. Speaking of blade storage, always keep your blades and other sharp items out of the reach of children. If I'm shaving with the same safety razor and blade for an entire week, I'll remove the blade at the end of the week and dispose of it. Then I'll give the safety razor a gentle scrubbing with a wet toothbrush and mild dish detergent. Then dry it off, insert a new blade, and I'm all set for the upcoming week. There are many methods of razor blade disposal. Don't just toss it in the trash as is. Someone can push down on the trash and injure themselves. When you open a new blade, use the wrapper to cover up your old blade. Wrap the paper around it and discard it. You could even take it one step further and snap the blade in half. then throw it in the trash. I'll issue a warning here. Only do this with one blade at a time, never more than one. If you put two blades inside the paper and close it up and go to snap it, what will happen is it won't bend and the blade will pop through the paper and slice directly into your finger. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Don't do it. Many razor blade packages have a slot in the back designed for blade disposal. Just drop the blade into the slot. You can purchase a blade disposal case such as this from ShaveNation.com. Just drop your blade inside. You can also make your own blade disposal bank. Here's an example. If you have an angle grinder, you can use it to cut a nice slot in the back of your medicine cabinet and drop your blades right in. They'll fall into the void inside the wall, gone forever. They'll be safely stowed there until it's time to demolish your bathroom. If you don't have access to an angle grinder like this, 
Well, a hammer and a chisel or a screwdriver, a sharp screwdriver, not a dull one like this, it'll work just as well. It'll get the job done, not as quickly, but it'll work. Most blades have the manufacturer's name stamped on them, while other blades have no markings on them whatsoever. Some blades have numbers stamped on the sides of them. For example, 1 and 2 on one side and 3 and 4 on the other. Some people will use the numbers to keep track of which side they shaved with. Then they will flip the blade with every shave, anticipating that the blade will wear more evenly as a result of this blade flipping. I believe this to be a shave myth. I don't think blade flipping makes a difference one way or the other. But if you do, then flip it and let it rip. The actual reason for having the numbers stamped on the blade is in case of any quality control issue that might arise. This way technicians can identify which side and location on the blade has an issue by referring to the number stamped on that area of the blade. So in the factory, Mr. Eagle Eye from Quality Control can ring Mr. Sharp on the production line and say, Yo, Mr. Sharp, these blades have a defect on the 1 and 2 side or the 3 and 4 side. You better get on it. The numbers will assist Mr. Sharp in finding the flaw without having to stand there and scratch his head while he's looking at the blade. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you're able to pick up some handy tips about safety razor blades from watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out all my other shaving videos. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.